guys happy Sunday um, we didn't make it to church this morning my husband has I don't know if it's a migraine but he has a pretty bad headache he hasn't hasn't even been able to get out of bed yet so we're just hanging out and honestly all I've done is take care of kids and make sure that they were fed and changed and happy and I have sat on the couch with some coffee so it's still fairly early though I don't even think it's I think it's like only 10 30 or something which I guess is technically not super early, but early enough, right? So I think the plan for today is another cup of coffee and then I'm probably gonna clean up the house a little bit more. I really just wanna kind of focus on laundry today. We did a lot of work downstairs. We got the girls room clean. We got the toy closet organized. Um, and I just kind of need to work on clothes today. And I need to clean the boys room as well because I haven't done that. It needs, it needs to be swept and it needs to be dusted and I need to mop and I need to clean their fan. Um, I just need to give their room a nice spruce as well. So that's kind of the plan. And I also have been, sitting here making a grocery list because I'm gonna have to do that at some point today as well. But I'm tired and I'm super, super nauseous this morning too. Super nauseous. Um, and I'm, I'm having normal coffee this morning. I don't know, I probably shouldn't be, but I'm having normal coffee. Um, I, I've been really like seriously cutting back on all caffeine um, so normally I will only have one cup in the morning of just regular fully caffeinated coffee and then the rest of the day if I want coffee I'm I'm doing decaf um, and I've totally cut out soda like no more of this I haven't had any of this um, we ordered pizza yesterday for the kids and my husband got two things of coke and I'm like, I can't drink it either, either one of them, you know, so. Um, the only soda that I will have on occasion um, is a little bit of Sprite, um, just because it settles my stomach. But other than that, I'm not drinking this. So this was the kids and my husband yesterday that had that. I've been doing water and apple juice and decaf coffee, <laughs> but mostly water and apple juice. We still have a little tiny bit of snow as well. I don't know if y'all can see behind me. You can see little tiny bits of snow left. Um, it's still pretty cold though. It's just a nice day to curl up with a cup of coffee and just relax. It's <laughs> gonna be sweet and let Keys watch what she's watching. <laughs> so good, buddy. Mama. You need coffee? Yeah. And a little bit, okay? You just had a bunch of apple juice. Well, I'm gonna have to buy Aiden his own little puppy. This is Narquez's, and he has just fallen in love with it. <laughs> it's been two or three days now. He just won't let it go. We'll let you have it later, buddy. I'm letting you, excuse me, I'm letting you and Aiden take turns. Aiden just loves it, and it keeps him entertained. So I've just been letting him have it, but I think Narquez misses his puppy. Things I can do today. <laughs> He's so sweet. Zoe's watching her tablet, and Piper's watching hers, and Keys is over here. Hey, love, do you want to come in here? Yeah. You want the Garfield game? I've got some of my clean clothes from the dryer right there, and I have this like makeshift baby gate that I'm just blocking with the wheelchair. But I don't want keys to feel left out, so here, let's let you in here, bud. You come on in here, okay? Sis a hub. Huh? Sis a hub. Help. Yeah. No, you just come in here. Oh, I just had to block that. Look at them. Narkees has his arm around. Isn't that cute, Piper? Isn't that cute? So adorable. I love them. Keys, you loving sissy? Yeah. yeah. Aiden is playing on the couch. I'll open the cheetah. Just a lazy day. Piper, we're not opening any more games, love. Um, not games. I'll open the cheetah. Oh, I see. I'll open the cheetah. What, Narkees? Not right now, okay? I like the polka dot. Cheetah. You do? 
He ain't so cute. I put his coat on in the house. He's so confused. You gonna go eat some supper with Lowell? You gonna go eat with Uncle Lowell? Well, I was about to go eat supper with Lowell. It's his birthday and everybody else is... Uh, it's so silly. Keys, 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 keys. <laughs> Y'all, he's got to get a haircut this week. Oh, you gonna show him? Yeah. All right, show him what you're doing. Good job. And I did my own hair. Fix your hand. I did my own hair by myself. You did. I'll show them in just a second. Put your head up. There you go. Good boy. A puzzles? He's been doing that all by himself, y'all. It's awesome. Let me see your hair. Turn around. Zoe fixed her hair all by herself. She did a little ponytail. She did a very good job. That was the only thing I knew how to do. Well, that's good, though. I mean, I could do a braid, but yeah. I just forgot how to cross yeah. it. Go. It can be confusing, huh? Yes. You guys, so I am... I'm watching Sam and Mia vlogs right now. Um, I just I haven't taken my computer into the other room yet. Um, I was just trying to change clothes, and I'm sorry if this is TMI. Y'all, my chest hurts so bad. I can't even, like, stand it. Like, I don't even want to, like, wear a t-shirt or have anything touch this, like, generalized area. It's pretty bad. Man. Um, and I'm freezing and... I don't know. At any rate, I wanted to come in and close out today's vlog. Excuse our wall, y'all. Someday. We'll get it painted. <laughs> um, I'm tired. I didn't vlog a ton today. We, uh, my uh, sister-in-law is having a baby today. She's like right on the verge, you guys. She's like about to have him. Um, so I've been like just stalking my phone all day long and kind of just anxiously awaiting um, for news on that front and then we took my husband's uh, brother out to dinner I didn't want to be rude and like film him and everything so at any rate vlog was short sorry maybe a short vlog is much needed I don't know um, I hate that I've been having to combine like two and three days like it, it bothers me but just the way things have been lately I don't have a choice and I'm like it's better for me to combine than just to not vlog at all so I do vlog every day though so at least we get something up, right? <laughs> anyway, I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Hope you guys are all doing fabulous. And yeah, see you all tomorrow. Bye, guys. Hey, guys. Oh, man. This is some way to start out this Monday vlog. Yo, I'm so sad. I was letting myself get hope, like, or I was allowing myself to become a little bit hopeful that uh, this pregnancy was, you know, going to turn out okay after all, you know, like, maybe things would be okay. And I took Piper to school, and I got back home, and I came back here because I just, I wasn't feeling great, so I laid down for a minute, and I was just checking my phone, and then I got up to go to the bathroom, and y'all, I started bleeding again like heavy the same heavy heavy bleeding and it's just like man y'all it's like three days before my appointment and it just sucks so bad because I was hoping at least like please just let it hold off again until you know my appointment on Thursday but I don't it's not gonna do it and it's just like I've just been sitting here crying all morning it's not been a good day so far I don't even know, you know, I, I wish that, you know, if it's a miscarriage, like I wish that it had all just happened 10 days ago, you know, instead of it just stopping and then me still being pregnant and, you know, I just, I wish it had all gotten over with and I could have moved on because now it's like I had accepted the miscarriage and then I allowed myself to have hope that everything was fine and now I'm starting to bleed again and it's just like, I know in my heart that something is not right and I'm really just I'm going in on Thursday at this point expecting for things to be bad for things not to to go well um you know it sucks I don't know I don't know I was really really hopeful and I've been having all of these crazy crazy symptoms and just 
really like feeling pregnant, which I was trying to take as a good sign. You know, I've just been looking for like any type of symptom that I could possibly come up with. But I started bleeding again this morning. I don't know if it's going to like continue. It wasn't a ton, but it was a ton. Like it wasn't as much as it was last time, but you know, it's only been like 30 minutes too. So I don't exactly have a proper time scale to judge like what it's gonna do and unfortunately with like a lot of miscarriages this early it's just a watch and wait kind of a thing there's just I'm not even gonna go back to the ER because it would be completely and totally pointless I would just sit there for hours and hours and hours and you know probably find nothing out um, and I have an appointment on Thursday so I just need to wait it out until Thursday and, you know, go and see what's going on. Oh, even though I'm pretty sure I know what's going on. There, there is still a little bit of hope, you know, I'm, I'm not, I'm not trying to discredit God. I know God is capable of anything, but you know, what I so desperately want and what my husband and I so desperately want may not be what the Lord has planned for us right now. And that's really hard to accept. <laughs> like, that's hard to kind of wrap my mind around, you know, and just say, okay, God, well, if you don't want us to have this baby, then, you know, take it from me. That's hard to say because I do want this baby and I don't want it to go anywhere, you know. But I don't know, y'all. Just a sucky Monday so far. It's only like 1030. Already such a bad day at only 1030. Anyway, I'm gonna try to move on a little bit today. I'm gonna, I'm about to get in the shower. Um, and then I'm gonna do some laundry and just hang out with Keys because Keys is home today. He's been, he's been having a lot of behavioral issues, which I honestly don't need to deal with today and I don't want to deal with it today, but I have to. That's part of life. Um, I'm not gonna get into the detail about what he's doing. But uh, he's just, he's having some behavior problems that need to be addressed and he can't go to school um, acting the way that he's acting. He'll be fine one minute and, you know, and, and we notice this pattern every, every eight to ten months is what I want to say. Every eight to ten months, he seems to have a week or two where he's just, he's like reverting back to orphanage behavior. Um, and we know it's just a time where he feels like he needs to test us and it's a time when he's scared and it's, you know, things are just kind of going all haywire. And, um, I think that he's seen in me too, the last few weeks that I've just been sad and happy and distracted and then sad and then happy again. And <sighs> anyway, I'm going to go get in the shower and pray that by some miracle it stops again, at least until Thursday y'all. And I don't know why, if it's a miscarriage, it's a miscarriage. There's Nothing anyone can do, but in my head, somehow, I'm like, if I can just not bleed heavily till Thursday so they can just do the ultrasound and see if there is a baby that's viable, they can give me a ton of progesterone cream and, or, or progesterone supplements and stop it, you know, but... Okay, guys. I feel like I have managed to pull myself together a little bit <laughs> man I don't know what's going on I think that has been the trend since the beginning of all this so you know again just trying to let go and let God and I'm just going to maintain until my appointment on Thursday <sighs> for a while we thought that my husband was going to be able to go with me but uh my mom can't watch the kids either so alas I do have to go alone which Actually, though, now that I'm really, like, thinking about it and how it's likely going to go, I may do better going by myself. Like, I think it would make me even more upset if I saw my husband there, like, seeing everything, too. I don't know. We'll see. At any rate, I have pulled myself together. The girls are at home. They are downstairs playing. Um, we're sticking to our rule today with no tablets. They're not allowed to have tablets on a school night this week. I'm um, trying to get things back to the way they were because the no tablets on a school night was working out really really well and we just somehow over Christmas break just stopped doing that so there's that I am going to 
buckle down and clean up my kitchen. I'm gonna wash dishes, I'm gonna get the countertops clean, and I'm gonna work on a little bit of clothes, and then I'm probably just not gonna do a ton else today. Um, I did call my doctor, and um, <laughs> the nurse was like, okay, well, you need to just be on bed rest then until Thursday. And I was like, I can't be on bed rest till Thursday. I was like, you don't understand. Like, I do not have the lifestyle to be on bed rest. And there's nobody here that can help me. Like, you know, my husband works 12 hours a day. And it's just me and kids. And two of my kids have special needs. Just me going and laying in bed and leaving my kids unsupervised. That's not going to happen. So I am... <laughs> just taking it as easy as possible because that's all I can do um you know and I I strongly feel like having been through you know this kind of thing before I know what's gonna happen is gonna happen regardless of what I do so I'm just trying to carry on I'm trying to still be a little bit positive but you know it is what it is <sighs> y'all I hate dishes so much <laughs> We're buying a new dishwasher soon as well. So I will be so thankful to get a dishwasher that works. A dishwasher that is not me. <laughs> I have enough to go on around the house to then trying to constantly worry about dishes. And we always have a ton of dishes. I try to do the whole like every day, like, okay, you get one cup, you get one bowl. It just doesn't work out or it does for a few days and then it still ends up piling up. So <gasps> whatever. Hey guys, I didn't know it was on. <sighs> so the girls are outside playing. I'm just trying not to stress out. I know you guys, I keep like talking about it and I don't ever mean for these vlogs to sound like me, 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 me kind of thing. Um, because I, I don't mean that at all. It's just, man, you guys, this is just weighing so heavily on my mind right now. And it stinks because it's like, I don't know. It's just an all-around kind of sucky situation, it's, and I don't do good at any way. Like, under good circumstances, waiting for things. I remember when I was pregnant with Zoe and Piper, I just panicked the whole time. And I was just as nervous with them, you know, when going in for that first ultrasound. But with this one, it's like that nervousness times like 10. Oh my goodness. Excuse me, I keep sneezing too. I don't know if that's a pregnancy thing or not. Um, the girls are outside, so I can say that. Um, and Piper wouldn't understand even if she heard that word, but Zoe would. <laughs> Zoe would be like, well, what? Um, anyway, right now, right now, it's just spotting. It's not like nothing heavy, it's nothing. It's just spotting and I'm trying to just, like one of two things is gonna happen, you guys. It's either gonna get heavier in the next few days or it's gonna taper off and go away, which I'm hoping that's what happens. I at least hope it, oh, you guys, it all just sucks. I could worry myself to death about it and it wouldn't do a bit of good. But, huh? You need to clean up your mess, buddy. There's a lot of stuff on the floor right there. No, I'm not helping you. I didn't make the mess. You clean it up. He does not want to clean up that mess. And anyway, words, guys, words. They're too hard right now. At any rate, Marquise has therapy tomorrow. And I'm really excited because it's this new place. It's a place that specializes yeah. in with kids with cerebral palsy. Um, and he has speech and occupational therapy tomorrow. So I'm really excited to get him into that. Um, I have a ton of paperwork to fill out there. I mean like this thick worth of paperwork and insurance information and all that jazz. And this is gonna be like a regular weekly thing, I'm sure. And I'm gonna ask them as well if they could maybe get Aiden in too. I don't know if they'll do that though. But we'll see, we'll see. Um, and then Aiden has to be home on Friday because his class is going on a field trip, but they're going to go watch a play. And I'm like, Aiden is like the last kid on the planet that's gonna enjoy that. It's gonna be loud. <laughs> He's gonna have to sit still and he can't see what's going on, you know? So it's just, it's not the best field trip for him to go on. So I told his teacher that um, he's hanging out at home. He's staying home that day, which is fine with me, but. Close.
can't get this door to close, you guys. So many house repairs, you guys, so many. Anyway, I really am gonna clean my kitchen this time. I'm like, I'm really going to. I keep saying I'm going to and I get distracted. The girls are outside on the trampoline. It's so pretty out today. They're like wrestling each other though, oh my goodness. Those two. 